Well, this looks awfully familiar. Oh, oh, oh. oh. This is the Baofeng UV 5G Plus. This radio was sent to me from my friends at Radio Oddity, and as you can see there, there is a GMRS sticker, a red sticker here. This is a GMRS handheld radio, so it is of interest for my viewers in the United States. There is the FCC ID 2A JGM-5G Plus. This is available from Radio Oddity and they sent this to me to have a look at. And you can see the similarities between this radio and the Baofeng UV-5R. As you can see there, this is a bit of a hefty boy. It's a bit of a bigger, chunkier version of this radio. Now, what do you get with this radio? Well, the first thing is you get this beefier battery. This is a 2500 milliamp hour battery, uh, 18 0.5 watt hours. This battery is a lot bigger than what you get in a UV5R. UV5R is 1800 milliamp hours, so you're getting an extra 700 milliamp hours for free there. So this battery is going to last you a lot longer. The other thing that this battery also has is a USB plug in the back, a USB C plug for charging, and you can see that there's also an LED there to indicate the charging status. Of course, you get the good old Baofeng manuals. Now, this manual's not too bad. It's written in, you know, reasonably decent English. The technical specifications, again, this is a GMRS radio. This cannot transmit on anything but GMRS, and I've tried to see if there's any special button pushes, any button presses that unlock this radio, because as you can see there, the receive range is 136. It says 136 to 174, but it actually receives a little bit further than that. I think it receives up to like 200 and 30 megahertz and also up in the 400 meg band as well, but it won't transmit. If anyone knows how to make this transmit on ham radio, that would be fantastic. This says that it is a five watt radio. You get your antenna, which is a standard flexi antenna with a frequency range there. Uh, 136 to 174 and 400 to 520. They probably make these in the absolute tens or hundreds of thousands. Uh, you also get a belt clip, which is a relatively sturdy belt clip that requires screwing on using the two screws that are already attached in the back of the radio. You get the standard lanyard and you also get a USB to USB-C charging cable. Now there is no desktop charger here in the single pack that I got. Um, yeah, first radio that I've seen actually for a while that comes without a desktop charger. So simply plug that into the back, which is quite good, and the light will just light up to tell you if you're charging or not. Let's put all of this to one side and let's have a look at the radio itself. Welcome. Channel mode. So we turn on the radio and we get greeted by the uh, secondary Baofeng lady. She is not the original, but she's been popping up lately on a lot of different radios that have been released this year, at least I've noticed they've changed the voice compared to the original. The first thing that I noticed about this radio is the large color screen, which is really, really easy to see, especially here in the shack. If I go outside and have a look, the screen is actually looking quite good. It's not washed out at all. Uh, it looks really easy to see in direct sunlight, which it is this morning. Um, nice big display, easy to read. Um, VFO, memories, so there's memory channels that are already programmed in here, which are all of the GMRS uh, frequencies. You'll notice too that the ones that are the repeater channels will come up here with a little offset um, icon. So you've got the positive offset to say that it's a repeater channel. I don't think that there's any names associated with the channels. Of course, you've got the channel number here, which coincides with whatever channel that you're on. You want to be able to put in a channel name. I believe you have to use the Radio Oddity software for this radio. This radio does not come with uh, ability to use Chirp just yet, but I'm sure that it won't be too long until uh, that's made possible or someone makes that possible. So as you can see here, it also receives on regular VHF. I mentioned before that it said that it went up to 174 megahertz. 259 megs. So it actually receives a lot higher than what it actually says in the manual. And on UHF, it receives all the way up to 520 odd megahertz or 5, 519. The top orange button here on the side, pressing that once activates the FM radio function. 
which you can scan through with, of course, or you can directly enter in a frequency to listen to FM radio. If you hold that down, then you get the transmit alarm, which is really annoying and really useless, to be quite honest. PTT button, you've got your uh, programmable, or your, what's this, side P1 button, which turns on the top LED light, which is a big, bright LED. That's what I was trying to remember, it's the monitor button. If you hold that down, then it opens up the squelch of the radio so that you can monitor the channel without the squelch uh, being in the way. On the right hand side of the radio is the speaker mic jack which uses the Kenwood style for programming uh, using the standard Baofeng programming cable. The single pack for this radio doesn't come with a programming cable so you need to buy that extra if you want to program that using the Radio Oddity software. Obviously your AB button to move between your different VFOs, uh, the top and the bottom VFO. You've also got this green button. If you hold this down, this goes into a UHF search, which I think is like close calling or finds a nearby any nearby transmitter. It will uh, bring up the frequency and the tone. I don't have any other transmitters that are currently, it seems, operating around here. Now if I transmit on my Baofeng UV5R, there we go, 440.1 with a 141.3 hertz tone. So that picked up that pretty quickly. Holding down the zero squelch button, that brings up the pre-programmed 10 NOAA weather channels so you can listen to those. Looking through the menus here, this menu, it looks very, very similar to other radios that I have done reviews on before, um, principally the TalkPod and also a Baofeng UV17, I think, uh, radio. They all look like they're starting to use this kind of menu. If you wanna see some of those reviews, then there is a link up here in the cards to some of those other videos. The red on the screen is a little bit harder to see than probably white. I know that the other radios with this menu would have white in the menu so that it's a lot easier to see. I mean, it is relatively readable. It's just would probably be nice if it was just white or selectable. You can also set a power on password so that when you turn on the radio, you can pop in the passcode. Uh, if you forget it though, I don't think there's any way to reset it. So you need to be careful with that. This radio also has a stopwatch in it with a, a couple of other radios have been having this feature in there. So you can activate that and you can basically time whatever you need to time. I don't know if someone's waffling for ages, then you can time to see how long they take to finish or over. I don't know, but anyway, it's in there. Testing output power, high power, you actually get more value for your money. You get 6.8 watts or 6.7 watts of RF output power on middle or medium, I think that's supposed to be, 4.45 watts. And on low power, two watts. The audio on this radio also sounds pretty decent. One, two, one, two, test one, two. And with the squelch setting at one, it also is reasonably sensitive. It can receive all the way down to about minus 124, minus 125 dBm. Audio test, one, two, three, four, five, on the Baofeng UV5G. Sounding pretty good. So this is a test of how clean the radio is and it is transmitting currently on channel 15, which is 462.550 megahertz. You can see there on the trace number one uh, marker, that is the fundamental frequency. And we're sweeping all the way from 400 megahertz to the right hand side of the screen up to two gigahertz. And there are no harmonics whatsoever on any of those higher frequencies. So this radio is as clean as a baby's bottom. So I think Baofeng are onto a winner here with the UV 5G Plus. Uh, it feels like a great, nice GMRS radio. The screen is really easy to read. Uh, it's gonna be even better once they get Chirp supported for this radio. The fact that you can charge it directly in the back of the battery with USB-C 2 is great if you're out traveling. The extra battery capacity is gonna be good if you're out traveling too and you don't need to charge it as much. So uh, compared to a UV, well, the previous iteration, the UV5R, I think that the UV5G Plus is a great little radio. So you can get this radio from Amazon or you can get it directly from Radio Oddity and there are some special discounts that you can get by using my affiliate code below. So that will be in the description. So the only deal breaker for me with this radio is the fact that it only transmits on GMRS. It doesn't transmit 
on ham radio, or at least I can't find a way for it to transmit on ham radio. If you wanna see some alternative radios that do, then there is a link to those videos here on the screen right now.